Man, listen, red pill is not what y'all making it out to be, man. You know, you got extremists and people that's saying F women and we don't we ain't dealing with women and all this. I ain't gay, so I'm dealing with women for the rest of my life. Like, that's extremists. Those are people, I don't even know who those people are. That's not what red pill is about, man. Like, red pill is about three things. Finding your purpose, which that don't, that doesn't take um, a short time or a long time. You don't know when you're going to actually find out your purpose. You always got lesser purposes in your life that's building to your most inner purpose. So finding your purpose is a lifelong journey. Being accountable as a man or a woman. If you want to be a woman, you want to take the red pill, you can do that too. Being accountable as a person for everything that happens in your life. Everything. That means if, if it was somebody else's fault, maybe. And, and and you told them and you were told to do this and you were told to tell this person to do it and they were supposed to do it. And, and because they didn't do it, it's not your fault. No, it's your fault because if you would have did it, you wouldn't have to worry about that. Taking accountability and thoroughly having an abundance mindset at all times. Understand that one job doesn't accept you. There's another job out there that will. A fi one female doesn't like you. There's another female out there that will. And you know what? You might want to take accountability and ask yourself why she don't like you. Maybe you fat. Maybe you ain't got no gang. Maybe you ain't got no swag. Maybe you ain't got no drip, no drove. Like, what? Like, y'all out here taking this to a whole nother, like, y'all taking it way out there. And that's not what this red pill is about. It's not about hating people. It's not about, you know, it's just about. Taking the sh taking the, the sugar coat off, taking that taking it off, man, and, and and taking the blindness off, and really realizing it for what it is. You know what I mean? Everybody want to be politically correct nowadays. Everybody want to say things that make people feel good. Like red pill is about like no, this is actually how it is. This is mostly how it is, whether it's right or wrong. But this is how it is, and understanding for and understanding that and taking it for what it is, man. So for those of you who wonder what the red pill is and got all these crazy Reddit definitions and on websites and these blogs and all this other stuff, three things, abundance mindset, <laughs> abundance mindset, going after your purpose and taking accountability, man. These three things have changed my life. The only reason why I went through a red pill rage is because I, I wanted to do these things, but then again, I didn't. I was still resisting it. I was still resisting putting my purpose first. I was still resisting taking accountability as a man. That's the only why people go through red pill rage because they're just now realizing everything and they're still resisting it. The, 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 the truth about it is not every man grows up being good with women. Not every man has that innate ability to have charisma and know how to talk to women. That's the truth about it, man. Like, Why are we acting like every man knows how to do that? That's what women do. Like, they try to make it seem like, oh, you should know how to talk to the females or you should. Oh, men out here having sex all the time. Like, no, it's some dudes that's going without sex. Like, in, in my early teens, like early 20s, I went months without sex. Months and months without sex. Like, seriously. Until I really found out how to close a deal. And Red Pill helped me with that. I mean, it is what it is. Like, every pill helped me with how to close a deal on a female. And it's crazy when you show you don't care that much. When you show you have an abundance mindset. I don't care if you come over or not, but if you come over, come over at seven. Never said nothing like that in my life in my early teens and late teen, late teens and early twenties. Finally started saying that. Okay, I'll be there at seven on the dot. <laughs> like, but these are things not every man knows. Not every man knows how to finesse the female language. Not every man knows how to how to really finesse it. Some some men are born with that, and not even just people are are born with more finesse than others. People are born with more people skills than others. That's just what it is. And so you got men out here that don't know nothing about that. Don't know nothing about what women like. You know what I'm saying? Like, they think women only want 
Rose is, you know, taken to their job and Rose is brought to the schoolhouse and, and, you know, open every door and, and, you know, give them compliments. Like I used to think that I used to think like, oh, I tell her her hair looks nice. Like the women don't care, bro. <laughs> like I, I, a woman told me that one time, like always tell a girl her hair looks nice. Like you'll, she'll love you. Cap. <laughs> God, bro, like, they don't care about that, bro, like, they want to hear some shit they ain't never heard before, they want to hear some bullshit, like, come on, man, so, that's what Red Pill is about, is just showing you that there's more than one way to do things, that the, the status quo, that the way America is, is, is promoting stuff, and the way America is putting stuff out is not the only way, they want you to, they want you to believe it is, but it's not the only way. Like I said, like, you grow up hearing, like, be a gentleman, do this for a woman, you know, be always be nice, like, and then you didn't look at it as, as, a, as like, as a, child, as a child, but when you get older and you take the red pill and then you, you like, but hold on, like, he don't, he don't provide for his family and you still with him. He be beating on you and you still take him back every time. He cheats in your face and you and you like you at his feet every time every chance you get like you don't even care like you take him back no matter what but i thought y'all wanted nice guys you know what i'm saying so it's not that we want to be bad guys now it's that you want to be a good guy you don't want to be a nice guy you want to be a good guy somebody respectable somebody has morals someone who has character someone who knows who's finding out their purpose someone who's who's fit who likes to read books but someone who's not a pushover, someone who could recognize the bullshit and not give too much energy into it. See, because most women are used to dudes putting in a lot of energy into them with nothing in return. No loyalty, no sex. N like nothing, nothing in return, just a phone conversation. And I've been that I've been I've done that to female where you. You put a lot of energy into them and they don't give you nothing that you want. Because, like, let's be honest. At the end of the day, most men, they want to smack. They want to smash, right? And women will lead you on like you you about to smash. You might have a chance. Just sit tight. I got you. You might, you might be next in line and you're not. See, <laughs> this is the cap, right? They say men... Oh, you don't you don't have to take that long to figure out if you want to marry a woman, if you want to be with a woman, it don't take that long. So but it take y'all years and years to find out if you really want to be with a dude. Stop the cap. Like, come on, man. Stop the flagging, man. Y'all flagging. Y'all but I got me on my floor this shit. Now stop flagging, man. Like it don't take y'all that long. Like a lot of time to take y'all the same amount of time it take for us to know if you want to smash and if you want to get to know the person and, and move forward take you about five seconds so that whole i'll need to vet you out i need to meet you and talk to you before we have that and i need to um we need to go on dates and we need to i need i need to know who you are it's cap and usually women want to do that after doing it the other way so many times now they want to be on a good girl you know what i'm saying like come on man stop the cap like it don't take you that long. You gonna tell me the same thing? It don't take you. It don't take God three months, six months to find out if you want to have a girlfriend, or if you want to be with a girl. It don't take you that long either. If a girl really likes you, if she really wants you, she's gonna make it easy for the most part. And I'm not even just saying super easy, but she's gonna want to spend time with you. She's gonna want to get to know you. She's gonna want to get intimate with you pretty quickly if she really wants you. And even if you think you that dude and you're like, why don't she want me? She's showing the signs like she like me, but she ain't really. Even if you think you that dude, she must just not really want you at that time. That's another thing, too. Timing. Timing is very key, my my boy. Like, whoever listens to this, timing is very key, man. Like, that's this thing with women. Like, you, she might be fresh off a relationship and ready to smash. And then you end up smashing. It wasn't even you, my boy. You just you just didn't talk your way out the pussy. But she might be on some. I'm trying to, be, you know, be good. I'm, I don't want that. All up, all I want is friends. And then you're not gonna. It don't matter who you are. You know what I'm saying? 
or it could be a regular night she see you she is super attracted to you that night because of your drip because of what you got on and how good you look and you and you and you score but maybe another day if she would have seen you at the gas station she wouldn't have thought nothing of you timing is so freaking key when it comes to this dog you know so but that's that's the thing uh, abundance mindset is 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 understanding that just because one girl doesn't want you there's plenty of girls out here if you can get one bad looking girl you can get you another one because that's how women think oh that nigga don't want to he don't want to pay no bills he don't he don't want to he don't want to treat me right he don't want to act right <laughs> Let me call such and such. Let me such and such DM me not too long ago. That's easy, my boy. Like, hey, you know, and it's just like it's it's, it's like it's like the uh, the Tinder the Tinder uh, experiment. Dudes get on Tinder, bro. They get about ten matches. If you a good looking dude, you you can get about ten matches in a month, maybe a little bit more. Bro, women are getting hundreds of matches a month, bro. Hundreds and hundreds of matches, bro. And probably even not that much because they're not swiping right on every dude. But if they just swipe right on, on most of the dudes, bro, they getting hella matches, man. Come on. We know this, y'all. Y'all got, they have an abundance mindset. But this is what the Red Pill is trying to teach dudes about. Just because one girl don't want you don't mean nothing. And it might mean you need to change something with yourself. So that's the accountability factor. Then the purpose factor comes in and says, you know what? Who cares if she doesn't want you? Who Change what you need to change about yourself. And let's put the purpose first. She'll come later. All three in one, man. That's what this stuff is about. You know what I mean? Like, so I just wanted to get that clear. I just wanted to get that clarified. Like, as far as marriage and all these other things and all these other ideals, you know, relationships, do what you want. Customize it how you want. But I'm gonna tell you how you red pill. You have an abundance mindset. You you take accountability for everything, and you got and you and you working on your purpose daily. You do that, you red. Anything else, you blue. That's just what it is.